Hello there guys, my name is Devin Forrester and welcome back to our channel, Sinus Foresters. Today guys, we're going to be playing some more Skyblock and I'm going to get right to the point. We actually already have our first member, welcome member Omega Phantom, yeah. So uh, he's going to be helping us out, of course, through the series as we go on, building tons of things. And actually, we've already done some updates. We've cleaned up uh, the bottom of the whole, the whole IS. We've flattened it out. We're going to edit it some more later in time. Uh, I've actually kind of fixed up my uh, cobble generator to where it's button powered. i got to make like a sensor for that. Other than that, guys, as you can see, we have something laid out for this video. We laid this out last night, the, the night before the video I record, I'm recording at. And we laid out, uh, see, what we have over here is we have this chest called Iron Golem Spawner Items. And this thing is full of signs, water buckets, lava buckets, hoppers, stone. Uh, we still have to get ice, and then three Iron Golem Spawners. And the whole reason why we have all that is because it's pretty obvious we're making an iron golem spawner today in this video. So we kind of have this layout of there's going to be chests just coming down with hoppers all the way down here. Over in each corner because each one of these where the glowstone is marks off where an iron golem spawner will be. So this is an iron golem spawner. Only up top though. Iron golem spawner. Iron golem spawner. An iron golem spawner. Down here, though, is a spot that supposedly either iron golems are going to spawn, and then we're going to make them um, travel this way by water force. Uh, we're also going to have one in the middle, I forgot. So we have to figure out a way for water source, but we need ice to make it flow down, or else it won't work. So, yes, yes, of course. So, actually, uh, Omega, Omega Phantom can hear me. Um, I, you guys can't hear him, but he can hear me because Skype, some uh, Skype and Discord and all that doesn't sound that good sometimes. So he can hear me. So everything I ask him to do, he'll be able to do. Or everything I believe that I, I can tell him, like, yeah, I'm gonna be doing this. So we can kind of sort of understand what each other's doing to get this done pretty quick. So yeah, I'm really excited. I totally forgot I even had a face cam on. I started my video all like. Hey guys, you know, I totally forgot I even had a face cam. Isn't that funny? So, we have this thing full of- Oh! Of course, he already knew. He got the ice, which is great. And then we have all of these signs, the chests, uh, trap chests, and regular chests, and just, just all of this. So, so yeah. Okay, Omega, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask for you to grab three of the stone brick stacks. Because uh, we're going to get right into this. We're going to start building grab th th those three stone brick stacks. Yeah. Uh, what we'll do is, let's see here. We're going to make the four stone brick, but I'm going to spend some money and buy quartz to make the frame. We kind of just planned this out. We're going to fill in the bottom full of... Here, okay, so listen. So we're going to fill in the bottom full of stone bricks. Okay. We're going we're to fill in the bottom full of stone bricks. And then on top of that, we'll do our packed ice. To make the water flow down and cause the iron golem spawners to go to each corner where the lava will be. Sound good? Cool. Take that as a head shaking, yes. Okay, so we're gonna start filling this in. We're gonna get this all filled in to place the packed eyes. And so yeah, we actually had a very exciting episode last episode. We we bought the fly uh, command, which is great. So now we can you know fly around some more. Uh, fly around some more, which actually allows building materials, not building materials, building buildings and other structures easier, especially if they're out of ways. So you can just build like things like, oh, sounds like you got stuck in a block there, Omega. So yeah, you can build structures like an iron golem spawner out and far away. You can build structures up higher. Sure, you don't take fall damage, but it's always a pain to get back up to the structures. So with the fly, you can actually get to the structures a lot easier. So we planned out this last night, and um, yeah, we planned this out last night. 
and so far the designs are nice. I don't know. I think I think what I was gonna do is I'm making the walls. Yeah, I'm making the walls green green stained glass, so you can look inside. We're gonna keep this little layer for marking off with the with the stone, and then up here we're gonna have stone as well. The frame though, like these cross beams, everything made out of cobblestone except the glowstone is gonna be. Uh, I think I'm making it quartz. It sounds right. Yeah, I'm making it quartz blocks to make it look like a nice design. So we're, we kind of we have a good design to to make a nice uh, iron golem spawner, so we can actually start making money. So hopefully, the more I IGs we start spawning in, uh, normally you can buy more iron golem spawners, and so these things will start filling up full of iron. These will start filling up full of iron, and then you can make slash sell signs, and those signs allow you to just right click on it and whatever's in there it sells straight to your account so fun episode i'm gonna i think what we'll do now is okay come up here with me omega we're gonna let's see here we're gonna yeah we're gonna fill this in with stone as well stone brick um we, are you out of stone bricks because i'm out of some stone bricks yeah i'm out of stone bricks fully Yeah, you can get more. Okay, that'd be cool. That'd be that'd be helpful. Um, well, I have a few more stone bricks. I'll fill in. I'll fill in what I have left to fill in. And okay. Okay, so we have that. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go to slash shop. Okay, so I'm gonna buy some quartz. Man, that is not cheap. I'm gonna buy. I'm not gonna buy too much quartz. I'm gonna buy three. I'm gonna buy two stacks for now, and I'll buy more if I need to. I don't, I don't think it's gonna last me, but for now, uh, money received from. That's more than I needed. Um, thanks anyway. <laughs> it's way more than I needed, but thanks. That's that's very helpful. Awesome. So we can support each other through this because we're also going to be making money. Um, I kind of I'm gonna have to like stand in place to break these because uh, the blocks will glitch when you're flying sometimes. So this should turn out to be a pretty sweet design, especially with the green glass. And at some point, we're just gonna have to switch up colors on each each design we do to make it look pretty cool. I'd say so awesome so also omega actually had an island uh can you bring down some more stone bricks i accidentally broke a block omega already had originally an island and he was making money non-stop so he actually had a good income of money but he kind of wanted to restart i guess and just decided to join me in my quest to, oh sweet thanks and decided to join me in my quest to try and get a good island going I already invited Barrick into the island. He's gonna be in some episodes, uh, whenever he can record with us. But hopefully, Omega and I, whenever I record an episode, Omega can help. Hopefully, be in these episodes uh, to help me out. So that would be great because you know the more people that you actually like work with, the faster things get done. So now that we have a new island member, we can make this simpler and get buildings finished. Okay, so look at this guys. I finished with uh, Omega's help finishing the, I fin we finished the bottom. And originally it was just uh, like a pretty much simple cross in the middle, but I saw this pretty cool looking, I guess you could say this is what I thought would look pretty cool. And when you come up all the way to the top and you look down, that is, that is plain awesome. That is amazing. That looks great too. That'll be a great design look. So it also goes really good with the stone. Pretty much now what we have to do. Oh sweet! Omega already took uh, took around the ring. So now we we only have to build around this ring, and then we can finish off the design on that part. And then we just got to finish off a bit of the frame with the quartz. We can fill in the glass. We've got to build the whole kind of design first. This might be the best looking IG farm I've ever done with someone. That would be pretty cool, uh, especially with the, the green glass and like 
being able to see through it pretty much. Turn my render distance up. Couldn't see anybody. Okay, so yeah. So we're gonna finish off kind of this top part. We'll get back to you when we kind of have the frame done. Okay guys, so we finished off like the top and like bottom layers. This is looking just crazy. We kind of just, we gotta just build up the frames now with the quartz. Just up to the next, this, the, the layers kind of like this. And we're gonna have a pretty sweet looking IG farm in my opinion. Okay guys, so we actually added more to the design. It's, it's really sweet. We, we, thingies, we thingies. It's, uh, that's all I can say right now. It's just like, it's so cool. So this means that I don't have to place as much glass as I thought I might have. Um, Cause then we also have a really sweet design uh, that I kind of actually want to do this now. I want to put these little blocks like, ooh. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. Oh, that's really cool looking. If you come back and like stand back and just look at it. Yeah. So we're going to do that. We're going to keep this design and then that way you got this really cool like beam support looking. Yeah, I got this. I got this. Don't worry. There we go. Okay. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Now, once we fill this in with glass, we can actually get to the iron golem part where we put the spawners. And I'm thinking what we want to do, Omega, is we're going to take quartz here. I'll do it ahead of time. Oh, they're with the timer. It's okay. I'm going to I'm going to do this ahead of time. I'm going to build down Quartz a little, not that low. Just like, yeah, we'll do two down. And then we'll place the iron golem spawner right underneath of that. How about that? We'll do that. Shake your head yes or no. No? Yes? Okay, we'll do that then. Okay, cool. So we'll do down one, two, three. Okay. And we'll break these. So we kind of have a design. Okay, so this looks great. I think this is a great design. What we'll do now is we now know where we're going to put the iron golem spawners. Um, let's do this. Don't mind the background noise. My mom just got home, so um, I'm going to buy I'm going to buy some glass and. I'm gonna do the lime stained glass. We're gonna hide this and just okay. We're gonna buy a pretty good amount of that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place those in there. I'm gonna place these four in there, and Omega, you go grab those. And then I'm gonna grab these. So you can grab those four. And what we'll do now is we'll Fill this all in with glass to finish off the design for the spawner. Okay, guys, so this thing is looking so dope. I mean, I we finished this bottom layer. I want that middle part filled in, and Omega is just going like roughhousing and just finishing this off. We're we're gonna we're gonna get this done really quick, and then we can actually start to set up the chest system full of hoppers. Um, and then we can probably all build a platform out to here. Um, and people who don't have slash fly will just have to struggle for a little bit until I figure out how I want to build platforms down there if I feel like it. Because I'm feeling like I want to build some platforms all around this so people without slash fly can actually access it. So, um, we're going to just continue filling this in. And pretty much if you don't have slash fly, it's not a big deal. You can do things like this. It's just a little bit more of a struggle. Slash fly is just pure amazing. I think what we'll do is we'll finish off this part. I'll let Omega work on those. And then we'll... I'll, I'll build this. I'll fill this in. And this design is going to look really, really dope. Okay guys, so this thing looks so, so dope. OMG, you have no idea what it feels like to actually have built this. And even though we're not even done, this thing looks so, so cool. So what we'll do is we'll build an access entrance point just right up here. 
this thing is that my pickaxe is just freaking amazing. Will then access No, I ruined the design. Do you have a quartz block on you? I don't. Oh sweet. Ah, oh, sweet. Okay, cool. So this will be a little access point for now. So now we gotta come up with how we gotta I'll have Omega do the lava, because he's done this before. I'm gonna have him place all the lava spots and and uh, the spawners. Ooh, I just realized something. Do the spawners the spawners go in the four by the four block? I'm just gonna let him take care of that. I'm gonna come up with the water system and how this is gonna work. I gotta come up with a water system. Ah, that's right. This is this is the way you do that. I forgot all about that design. I gotta come up with a water system. So I'm gonna grab this water and this ice. We get a we gotta have some fun building up this water system. To make so it pushes all the iron golem spawners. Uh, towards the hoppers and the hoppers pick up all the iron and filter them down through chests okay so kind of have to come up with a de design new stone brick think Devin think I am I am okay okay let me find because iron golems are gonna spawn right about there if they spawn right about there they only need to be pushed by the water just a little bit right that sounds right so the water ring can go thinking like this. That's not, this is gonna be, wait a minute, I just, I just realized something, this is gonna be ice. So we're gonna have to figure out a good water ring system to where the water keeps flowing downwards. So I'm gonna start off with this four by four block in the middle. Are you gonna, yeah, are you gonna make that whole thing hoppers or are you just making those two blocks hoppers? Okay, so he's making those two block coppers, which is great. That makes it easier on me. So the iron golems can actually still float down. So I know where my water ring is. You're not making this easy on me. The water ring is so weird. So we'll have something like that. Yeah, I want to build that. I want to build this a little more. Yeah, kind of, kind of like a pyramid. Except out a little bit more. So it pushes the water down. Yeah, but the one problem I'm having with that is the water, the water block though. Think about it though. Hang on a second. Think about it though. Oh my god. The water block, the water block though, in the middle won't push the iron golems spawning in the middle out. They'll just land in the water. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting a flow pattern. Oh, hang on. Break that. Break that. Oh, oh, there it went. Okay. Place a... Come here. Come here real quick. Um, Do me a favor and place like a hopper right there. I, I'm, I'm getting this system sorted out. And then I'm going to put the ice in the, the box place that I need them in. Okay, guys. So we did a lot of work. We placed down a few more chests. We got in the hoppers. There's tons of hopper placing to do. We literally line this thing. But we switched it up to where they would go to the chest. I mean, it doesn't mean it's easy. Um, my whole family's inside now, so it's gonna be a little bit more noisy. But yeah, so inside also looks just amazing. And the way we did it is we, we couldn't really cup out the lava. So what we found out is we made a system to where the lava came out while the water flowed down. And the best thing is, even though there's a block right here, you're not always gonna land in the middle, so you'll still get pushed down. And the iron golems are taller, so you'll land in that and then land on the hoppers, but still be in the lava. Um, Pretty much now what we have to do is we need to place down the rest of the ice to make them all move. If not, they won't move as easy. So what we'll do is I'm going to empty out my inventory into just one of these chests for now. Um, or just, yeah. I'm going to empty out my inventory of the chest. Oh, we're going to keep the chest because we got to keep them in the spawner section. We'll empty this out, put all that in there. Buckets can go. Oh, actually, we'll the buckets. A bit of water, all of that can go. Hoppers can go in there. Oh, no, wait a minute. So we'll put that in there. Put the hoppers back in there. Um, and this. Hang on a second. Okay, so. We gotta go grab the water. 
I think I placed the ice back in this chest. Yeah, I did. Okay, so we got the pack guys. Now all we have to do is find out where the wa water actually stopped real quick. And we'll layer that with ice. And we'll pick up the water. Let's build it around wherever else. The best thing is... I oh, wait a minute. Hang on a second. The water stops right at the level of the hunter, so this whole thing just needs to be ice. That makes it simpler. Okay, we can do that. So yeah, we're gonna place the ice and we'll be right back. got all the ice placed down now all we need is just to place down the water and this thing is complete then we, then we can place down the iron gold spawners which would be pretty cool so we place water there water there water there water there and water there there and there there and there there and there and oh not there not there no nope, never mind don't need to but there and there, and there it is. All the water's down. The system looks like it's running properly. So what we'll do is we're gonna be careful for now, and we'll just place the iron gloves corners right here. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give two of them to to Omega because he helped. So he's gonna come out here with me real quick. And I'm gonna hand him this last one right there. And we're gonna place down our right, so Omega, we're not gonna place one in the middle, but we're gonna place one on the outer rings. So I'm gonna place mine right there. Iron Golem Spawner. Let's see if it works. It looks like it's working so far. Down here's wherever you want. I'm gonna go check on that. And watch it. Oh, it's working. Oh, snap it from that. It's working, guys. We have a running iron golem spawner. Yes! Now let's see where this where this went. Oh, 16!
that is wow there's 11 in that one guys this thing is op we're gonna be making money off the guys that's it one of us just has to sit up there and let them spawn and pretty soon you'll be making money i go to slash shop real quick again and if i go to spawners how much is another iron golem spawner I don't have enough. But soon enough, I can buy. You can soon enough. You'll be making money off the hook. And yeah, we already have a we already have a mega sitting there. And I think one of us was gonna AFK through the night. But that's it, guys. We did it. We built an iron golem spawner. And we placed down cell signs. So whenever whenever you come back, like in, later in time, you can just pop 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 pop. And like I said money goes straight to you so the system works successfully which is awesome that's money money in the makings so yeah guys um other than that thanks so much for watching that was the longest video yet and yeah see you on the flip side bye bye